September and June, what would you do differently in your brewing career if you had the chance? I don't know why this question makes me feel emotional. Getting into the brewing industry has uh, it's been good and it, it, it's, it's had its high points. It's had uh, some uh, in, in intensely low points. What the brewing industry has helped teach me, it's taught me a lot about myself. There's a period of time where I looked to my job in the brewing industry for validation, for my self-worth, for the quality of the beer that I made and the awards that I would win for making beer. Those were the things that defined me as opposed to the husband I am, the son I am, the friend I am. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I, if you're if you're watching, if you end up watching this live, you might notice a pretty significant change in my uh, uh, in my demeanor. Uh, but it, but I, I don't know. The, the the question hits me pretty hard. What would I do different in my brewing career if I had the chance? I can thank my brewing career for offering me. When people talk about wanting to uh, grow in humility, you know, humility usually comes through humiliation. Right, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of, it can be kind of the it can kind of be the 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 fastest path, right? So, what would I do differently? I mean, I, I I wish I was I wish I was more of a man when I started brewing. You know what I mean? Like, I I wish I was more of a complete person when I started brewing. And I think the the industry was one of the things that either served as a catalyst for for bringing out those problems. So yeah, but I mean, I, I wish I was a, uh, I, I wish I was a more integrated person, you know, a entering uh, the industry. What would I do differently? I, I wish that I would have had uh, better communication skills. I wish I would not have uh, been so ego driven, you know. And, and I think I do a good job. Uh, I think everybody wears a mask to some level, right? I, I think I. This might sound strange to say out loud. I, I connect with people pretty well, right? The, despite the fact that I that I connect to people well and I could talk a pretty good game, uh, my ego was was pretty monstrous. Uh, was pretty monstrous. But you know, I mean, big picture, I've had a lot of different jobs. I've learned something different at each one. I'm legitimately better for every job that I've had. Every job that I've had has taught me something. I think I'm glad I got into the industry. But no, I, I think I think I would have had. I, I should have had. Uh, what something I would have done differently. I would have had, and maybe you can see it in some of the content I make. I wish I would have had a career mentality sooner. And what I mean by that is brewing was how I was, I, I was getting paid to make beer, right? But I wasn't doing anything to advance my career and advance my opportunities. I thought opportunity comes from me winning awards. And then that can be the case. This channel is part of me actually seizing the idea that I'm going to be an active participant in my own career. This is in, in a, th this channel is a lot of things, and one thing that it is is it's an online resume, and this is you know this is something that I have a knack for, right? So it's giving me visibility in the industry and that in a, in a relatively positive way. So that's you know, but yeah, I, I think maybe having a little bit more of career vision. Uh, Anthony Bourdain said in in Kitchen Confidential that he uh, that there is times where he took the next job just because the title was better, and he could have stayed somewhere longer and learned more. I think I think there's stuff to be said for that too. I didn't expect that question to hit me so hard, September, but it did. I uh, I, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you asking the question.